Desert bus ride number one. A romance story and for ladies. Mr. Oakland was he driving? He was drive to get the place was Las Vegas, but had's made make to drive all the way for eight hours approximately. Ah, great! He am talk loudly at him. It was too long for enjoyable ride. Ah, no speed limit! He announced to his driving bus, who was shocked. They wondered what was his drive problem. The passengers became listened to him as he told them what happened. It is powerful drive across desert. No man is ever. No man? Said them quietly. One man is. He is powerful warlock and he discovered this desert incredibly. Scares children. One mother said and she was scared with earmuffs. Is not cold in desert, so Mr. Oakland did not know why she wear them, so he leaves bus operation to investigate. A man who was there drove as well because he could drive a bus with his license. The earmuffs were made of scientific discovery. It keep me cool while we bus drive. She explained. Mr. Oakland decided to believe her story, but knew there was something up. We nearly hit a skunk," said the driver man, who was named Bob Orlando, and he speaked with no nervousness, for the task was unfrightening. We did not hit, so it okay. I must drive for safety, Mr. Oakland say, and he get back into wheel. Bob Orlando fall. Oh no, he's sick. <laughs> no, Bob replied. Thank you for concern, kind woman. I have lost it, my balancing. When he gets up, they find blood. How far to Las Vegas and if they have hospital? The lady woman said with her dress in her fist. It's seven hours and forty-five minutes more. So hold on for speed, but we must make most of gasoline. So they did not speed up. I am okay. Bob put his hand on the blood, and it stopped. So it was only small blood. What is name? Margaret. She say distantly, as lookout window into desert. It was hot, so she holding dress carefully in case of hot exhausting. I see you are wearing expensive dress. Thank you. It is one of my favorite clothing, but it is not important. I have meet my boyfriend in Las Vegas, and he will be in trouble. Bob was sad that she had girlfriend, but knew he would win her triumphantly to like him and maybe get a very good cup of coffee. But why? He asked of information. My boyfriend is work for the FBI, and they have dangerous terrorism. That is outrageous! Bob demanded. I hope he is safe. Thank you for concerning you. Mr. Oakland thought carefully. It was too hard to tell the truth that him first name was Kyle Roberts, and he worked for FBI too. But internal affairs send him to watch FBI, so he noted that Margaret boyfriend would be him job. Stressed, he almost drove off the line, but he pressed left and did not. It was a close one, he said. But no one understand and did not know, so he did not bother with them. One man on the bus was from India, and he talked of what it like to grow up in India. All right, so I grew up in India, but you know what? I'm not subscribed to T-Series, and you know what? You shouldn't be subscribed to them either. I unsubscribed from them a long time ago, and guess what? You should too. Everyone unsubscribe from T-Series. Everyone subscribe to PewDiePie. And that's what it was like growing up in India. When they arrived, boyfriend was got shot. He am hit by bullets! Margaret thought very loudly. This is all because terrorists! Mr. Oakland punched fist into air with angry. He was angry. Boyfriend say, I am Jim, and I am your cousin, Kyle. It was too much, and so 
Mr. Oakland cried in bus for eight hour drive back to Tucson, Arizona. He never found out how it went at hospital and was never told. What happened? Ask an old woman. This is frightening. Frightening me. We will be back soon, but it'll be very dark. He said to new passengers. One of passengers worked with Kyle Roberts for FBI many years ago, but Mr. Oakland could not tell him the harsh news. Dedicated to the brave FBI. Thank <laughs> you.